So this question is asking us to express the following angles in degrees into radians. Uh, correct to the nearest, what does they say, tenth. Correct to the nearest tenth. So again, our conversion factor here, when we're converting to radians, is pi over 180 degrees. Not that that is numerically equal to 1, because it isn't. Okay, but conceptually, yes, it is, because this is the same angle as this right here. So we're going to multiply 218 by pi over 180 degrees. And actually, all we really have to do in this case right here is exactly that, okay? So 218 times pi divided by 180. We get 3.8. We move on to the next one. 57.3 times pi over 180, because I'm converting to radians. So we go to my calculator. 57.3 times pi divided by 180, and I get 1.0. That's a, that's a neat one. So what that tells us here is that 57.3 degrees is, is essentially one radian. Kind of a nice example to throw in there. Negative 230. Now, this is not going to change the sign of our answer. All we're doing is we're converting uh, modes here, if you will. We're, we're still measuring the same angle. So if this angle was measured uh, clockwise, then so should our radian measure here. Anyway, so we go back to this. Negative 230 times pi divided by 180. Negative 4.0. Well, there you go. Now, let's go back and do this a slightly different way because there is another way that we could do this. We are converting into radians. So what I want to do is make sure that I'm in radian mode. Okay, put my calculator in radian mode. I'm just going to show you another way of doing this. And I'm going to take that 218. I'm going to put that in, in uh, sorry, brackets here, 218. And then I'm going to go to my angle menu on my calculator. So I'm going to press second apps to get into my angle menu. And that gives me some options here. The very first option here is, is the degree symbol. And when I choose that, what that does is it tells the calculator that this is a degree. And when I press enter, it converts it automatically into radians, 3.8. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, 57.3. Well, let's do the same thing. In brackets here, 57.3. And again, I go into my angle menu and I will identify that that is a, a degree measure. Press enter. And I get one. Then the last one here is the negative 230. So in parentheses, negative 230. Again, I go into my angle menu to identify that that is a degree. Press enter, negative 4.0. So there you go. Another way of being able to convert from degrees to radians.